What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm finally doing something that was really highly requested by you guys, and it is a shoe collection video, but as you can tell from the title, we are only focusing on my Chanel shoes for this video. So I'm really excited because I feel like I have a pretty good assortment. I have eight pairs to show you guys, and I have had others in the past that just ended up being sold, so I feel like I'm really happy with where this is at. I'm not trying to collect Chanel shoes, but if there's a style that is out that I feel like is really cute and comfortable, I'm going for it. So I don't want to ramble for this video, I just want to kind of get straight to the point. Uh, but if you're new here and you enjoy designer pieces, bags, fashion, vlogs, hauls, travel occasionally whenever that can happen again please hit the subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so that you know when i post new videos and that's it okay so before we begin i do want to let you guys know that i am normally a size eight and a half nine in us uh so just keep that in mind when i am sharing the sizes for the shoes in this video okay so for my first shoe we have the chanel espadrilles and this is kind of like a Chanel staple, I guess. Uh, the Espadrilles were actually my very first Chanel purchase ever. I believe it was like back in 2012 or 2013 that I had the beige and black combo and I just wore those to the ground. The sole started coming off, I got them repaired. Um, but those shoes were great. Uh, not the most comfortable if you're walking around all the time, but they are really cute and comfortable. Uh, just not a recommended like walking shoe if you're going out and about all day long. So um, yeah, these are the espadrilles. I have them in the all black. And then I have another variation to show you guys after this one. It does need a bit of breaking in. I always tend to like need to get this a little stretched out. Usually after not wearing it for a while, it kind of tightens back up a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense, but that was the case with my other espadrilles as well. And for these ones, I did get a 40 in them. I did try on the size down from this, but was more comfortable in the 40 because I did want to wear like a no-show sock with them. So these are the espadrilles and I think they're definitely a classic. Chanel does them every single season in so many different colors and materials. So just something to keep in mind. If you are looking to invest in some espadrilles, uh, I think it's definitely worth waiting for a color combo that you really, really love because they do bring these back pretty often. And I feel like they're a lot easier to find now than when they first came out. For my original pair of espadrilles, I was on literally like every single waiting list at Nordstrom, Neiman Marcus, and the Chanel boutiques because they were just impossible to find when they were still around like 500-ish dollars, I think but that was for the single sole. Next up are my gross grain espadrilles and I absolutely love these. These, I think, in this colorway are so cute. I really love how this just like blends in so seamlessly with the leather. Um, I did wear this a couple of times and didn't really take too much breaking in. I grabbed these in a 39, so that just goes to show how different sizing can be per shoe. It's not the same across the board. That's why I always recommend being able to try on in store if you can. These are really, really comfortable and I haven't had any issues with this. Again, these are not the kind of shoes that I would wear every single day because I'm pretty sure I would just wear them to the ground, but it's a really great casual shoe to wear with jeans or leggings or shorts. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love the colorway of these. So I got these back in 2018. I'm not sure if this exact style comes back every single season. Maybe it does in terms of materials combo, but color combo, I am not sure. But uh, I have worn them and so you can see a little bit of wear, but nothing too aggressive. But these are really, really cute. And if I had to pick between these or the classic espadrilles, I would probably go with the gross grain ones just because I like how it's a little bit of a sharper toe and I feel like it just makes my foot look slimmer. So these are the two espadrilles in my collection and that's it for this category. Next up is another Chanel classic and these are the slingbacks and I remember just wanting them so bad. I felt like they were such a classic and sophisticated shoe, but honestly I don't even really wear these 
as much. I mean, maybe because my style has become more like sandals and sneakers, but I do think it's cute to keep these in my collection just in case there is a little bit of a, uh, like a tea party or something, but I got these in a 39 and a half. I know that these were hard to find for a while, but it is a style that comes back every single season. So if you guys are interested, I do just recommend trying on in store. And they're actually really comfortable to wear. I do know some people have mentioned their foot slipping off with this. That's why it's important to just really figure out your size. It's a really pretty shoe to wear with like a skirt or even like, um, what do you call it? Like wide leg jeans, I feel like could be really cute or slacks. So. These are the slingbacks and definitely a very ladylike shoe. I'm not a heels person at all, but I could do a block heel and I just think there's a really cute detail with the gold on this one. It's been a while since I've actually worn them, but it's one of those shoes that you feel like you just have to have in your collection just in case. I don't see myself really letting go of them anytime soon. Next up are Chanel boots that I grabbed last year yes last year these are heavy so they do chanel boots every season but i was particularly fond of this one because it did have gold hardware and a little pearl detail at the top uh, i thought it would go really well with my pearl chanel bag so that was my logic behind that uh, i did size up in these i originally got these in a 39 and then upon walking around with them at home i just realized this is gonna be too snug and always better to go a size up than a size too small for shoes, especially designer shoes, because that is an investment and you wanna make sure that you're gonna be comfortable. So for these, I didn't have too much trouble breaking them in, but it is a little bit stiff. So you might need a few days to break in the leather just to soften it up to kind of mold your foot. But these are the boots and I just like the height of them. They're great little casual style to wear during the fall or winter and I really like how chunky the heels of these are. They are really heavy though, like my arm is hurting carrying this, um, but I think they're really really pretty. This is all velvet for the laces. I wore this around France my recent trip in November and I was pretty happy with how these were styled. For boots, I definitely do usually size up just because I am also wearing a thicker sock during this time. So um, yeah, we've got various sizes across the board over here. Okay, we are already halfway through. So see, this isn't gonna be a super long video at all. Next up are the sandals that I grabbed last year from the Chanel department in Bloomingdale's. I saw these and thought they were just so cute had like this 90s style to it because of the platform. And I wore these a fair bit. Uh, they're not super uncomfortable. Again, it's mostly just like this top part of the shoe that I always really need to break in when it comes to sandals. But this part hasn't gotten so dirty. I didn't really do anything to it. Uh, it's just a matter of making sure that your feet are clean, I guess, when you wear shoes that have a lighter kind of bed, but I do think this is one of those seasonal pieces. Uh, I did see these end up on sale though, I think for around like maybe 600-ish. I believe they were around like the 800 ballpark when I got these. I can't remember. I'm like really bad at prices of these shoes and they're like impossible to find too. So, but this is really, really cute and I just think it's a great little summer sandal definitely for resorts as well. And even though there's like this platform on it, it is still pretty light. The heaviest shoe I have is definitely the boots because of the sole of those. But these are the sandals and very worn on the bottom. Okay, we are down to our final three and all shoes that I have gotten this year. So these are probably my favorites so far. I was really happy with this. First up, we have these sneakers that I grabbed back in March. I'm pretty sure it was like before quarantine. I saw these at Neiman Marcus at Hudson Yards and I was just obsessed. I first saw these in a couple of different colors in store but had not seen the white ones so I was waiting to find these so that I could try it on for size. Um, these ones I grabbed 
what size is this? For these ones, I grabbed a 39, so really, really happy. I did spray these down. It's got like a terry material on the interior, um, and I think it did come with an extra pair of laces, I believe, but just really love this kind of bougie Air Force One style. You guys know that Air Force Ones are like my absolute favorite. I did get blisters on one foot. I guess my right foot is a little bit bigger than the other, so I did get some rubbing going on in the back of my heel the day that I was wearing this out in the city like all day long. I would say like if you're wearing it more than like four hours of walking you might get a blister but initially it's really really comfortable but I mean I've had multiple sneakers do that for me so um, I think it just comes with newer shoes you just kind of really need to break them in but they're not super uncomfortable i remember buying louboutins before and just thinking they were this like wow statement of fashion and style i wanted to cut my foot off every single time i wore them so ever since i sold all my louboutins i've had like three pairs sold them all and swore to never ever pay for a designer shoe if it made me want to cut my foot off and I'm just really not a heel person so you guys have noticed this within this collection and you guys will see it even more in my next collection video which I will share all of my other shoes that are in the designer category that I like to be low to the ground so that's that but next up are controversial I know that they're a hit or miss with people but I am obsessed with them and definitely so happy that I was able to get these. So these are my granddad sandals, dad sandals, whatever you want to call them. And I love these. These are absolutely amazing. I love wearing them, how chunky they are. And uh, it's actually been really comfortable to wear. My only thing is like my foot kind of like farts a little bit when I wear them. There's just something about, like, I guess the bed of the sandal. I don't know if everyone else is getting that same issue, but I do really, really love these. And I have seen them come out with them in a couple of different variations. This came out, I think, back in March. So if you are looking for a dad sandal or any of the spring or summer shoes, I do recommend you start looking at the tail end of winter and very beginning of spring because that's when all of these styles are coming out and they honestly sell out so so fast so I was able to get these through Thread Styling which is a personal shopping service that I have used a few times before so highly recommend checking them out but something to note about personal shoppers is that they do have a finder's fee and you have to pay for shipping so if you are willing to pay a little bit extra than what it would cost at retail then they can probably help you find something I grabbed these in a 30 eight and a half. I think this is the smallest size that I've ever gotten uh, because I'm a US eight and a half nine and I was advised that they are true to size because they're so open and they fit perfectly. So if you're interested in the style, definitely stick to your true size. Wear them with leggings, wear them with shorts, you can wear them with a dress. You can just like wear them with anything. I mean, I feel like quarantine has made my style even more casual and more relaxed than it already was before. And I'm just all about being comfortable, but if you can throw some Chanel in there, why not? So, these are my sandals. Last but not least is a shoe that I have yet to wear. As we can see from the bottom, still super new and untouched. These are the slides and I grabbed these in a 39. These were also through a personal shopper and I got them from gabwaller.com and these are just absolutely stunning. They do also have them in a black colorway and I did grab these fairly recently, maybe like two weeks ago-ish is when they arrived. So I think if you wanted this particular style in either black or white or like, sorry, the cream or ivory color, I'm pretty sure that they would still be able to source it for you. So love shopping with gabwaller.com, not sponsored. I just always have like a super easy transaction with her and I am just so excited to wear these. I love them so much and I feel like they would go really well with my DeVille bag. Uh, I think it's a good kind of resort summery look and I just love how easy 
these are to wear. So really love these and I definitely can't wait to start using them. Uh, the bottom just has Chanel written on them, made in Italy, and the beading is just stunning. The only thing that worries me about these is if I'm clumsy when I'm walking and I end up rubbing the shoes together. That would just be something to consider. That's essentially it for the shoe collection. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing all the different shoes. Um, favorites are definitely, for sure, the sneakers and the granddad sandals, I think. Those are like my top two. If there was a shoe that I could probably do without, probably the boots because I do have tons of black boots downstairs and I am just, I just have tons of ankle boots, so. Or the black espadrilles because I don't think I need multiple pairs of them, so. Just something to consider if you are shopping for Chanel shoes, but across the board, like, the sizes all vary so much, so. Definitely recommend just really trying on if you can, and if not, make sure that you are able to return it and exchange for a size if not. I'm pretty sure all of these came from department stores. I think the only shoe that I was able to actually find in a Chanel boutique were the boots. These and the slingbacks I found at Neiman Marcus. The black espadrilles I found at Barney's. The gross grain sandals I found at Saks. Um, the dad sandals and the new cream sandals are from personal shoppers, but I believe those were sourced through a boutique. And then the gross grain ones were from Bloomingdale's. So definitely always check out the selection of Chanel shoes at department stores because they usually get styles that the boutiques don't. So just a tip in case anyone is interested in looking for Chanel shoes. I think right now they're starting to trickle in with pre-fall, fall, winter. Um, so yeah, that is essentially it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I didn't ramble on too much, but yeah, that's all. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week with a brand new vlog. As always, your love and support mean the world to me and I will see you in the next one. Bye!